on Twitter. We remember Denmark in a football Game European on. Championship who came in at the last minute and won the event. At Sky Sports Darts on Twitter. Get in touch with me or John on Twitter. Great sporting reprieves. Let's see what you can come up with. Colin Osborne has had one, and you just never, never know. No, and he'll feel pretty good about his reprieve as it is. He, he was throwing well at the end of his preliminary game. He's the settle in again, apparently. 20 years. Not looking too comfortable now. So just that hour can make all the difference sometimes. Yeah, Osborne comfortable winner in the end over Dennis Linksall. 45. To count 122 and 73. It's been a good night. Unbelievable game between John Henderson and Dave Chisnell. Which Henderson won in a tie break. 90 After Chisnell missed four match darts. Barney averaging nearly 100. He's through to the last 32. The winner of this, by the way, will play Gary Anderson in round two. 82. And that, that match will be a, a much different pace for Gary. I mean, this is a very uh, deliberate style of darts we're seeing here. Always was going to be. Colin, not quite as deliberate as Brendan, but uh, there won't be any rush. 137. And of course, I think Gary Anderson, he prefers to get on with it. So no matter who he faces, I think he's going to be a little bit challenged. Spot on. Spot on. Well, I guess all the pressure is on 96. Dolan here, the man in form. Osborne, absolutely nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. He could go up there a little bit more carefree. Well, that said, I, I agree, but I don't think there really is any pressure on Dolan in a sense that he knows he's, he's more the man on form, and, it, and he believes, he truly believes that uh, the reality of the situation that the rankings represent the truth and that he will win. So unless Colin can really put together uh, an exceptional performance, Brendan 60. will be comfortable. Well, this would be a good start. And that is a good start to the combination. Unlucky, John. Yes, very much so. Perhaps a deflection there as well. Wanted to get to the left of the Renew first dart, but went to the right. Brendan will have a good look. Fully expect himself to finish this. There's the treble, the hard work done. 18. And tops. Beautifully done. Really, really good combination finish. That's all you want, isn't it? When you're starting a match at the World Championship, you've won the throw. You want to win that first leg, but win it with a bit of conviction. Sometimes, you know, it's a little easier to get that first double of the match on a combination shot shoots. like that rather than where you've hit a 140 to leave uh, tops or something, and you're starting at just seeing the whole double. For some reason, maybe you, you don't focus the same because you have the three darts. Whereas, you definitely, he had the need to finish that there, and it, it helped him not to think about all the other factors. He just needed to finish it, and he knew that, and he did it. At Sky Sports Darts on Twitter, use the hashtag World Darts. Day three, and it's been been a heck of a tournament so far, hasn't it? 43. Well, I just love the, the fact that it goes on and on and on and uh, for three weeks of just starting pleasure. Whether you're 16. playing, commentating, watching, or I suppose even having a little bet. Found his range. 140. Looks to me Osborne changed his style a little. 
is more forceful, more aggressive with the throw. So used to caress the darts a bit more, but... 100. Let's have a look at the way that, that Osborne throws here. I just think he's throwing with more, more aggression. Well, is more deliberate on the mechanics, perhaps. Used to be a little smoother, I think. You're right there. He's not really getting much back action. He's getting to upright and then forward. He's not, he isn't bringing his arm right back to his face, which is the case in most throws. So he has a shorter action to control the, the aim better. But when you do that, it's harder to get the weight right, I, I think. Sure to follow through as well. It's harder to get the release just perfect when you when you don't have a long arm action. Forty-five. But a lot of that also depends on how you grip the dart. Some guys they might hold down near the point. Other guys cradle the whole dart like myself. And uh, so there are varying factors as to what will help you throw successfully yourself. Just trying to pressure now. 115 left for that. 95. It's Colin with a chance to hold his throat. Needs the 132. We'll start on the bull. We love these. Well, we saw it earlier tonight, didn't From we? Hendo, yeah. Big bad John. John Henderson, 132. Ball, ball, double 16. It is dramatic win. 48. Over Dave Chisnell. Brendan Ewing, 95. Well, took out 118 to win the opening leg. It's well within his sphere. Yeah, it's a double 16 for 2-0. Oh, and Osborne has to count himself a bit lucky and, and make the most of that mess and just to hold his throw for 84. Crucial for him here, early moments for Colin Osborne. Treble 20. Has to go for 14 or the treble. One dart to save his leg at full. Game show wow. to the second leg. That would give him some confidence, won't it? The leg renders to Rupert. Good darts, Colin Osborne. Spoke to him. I, I, I really like his attitude. Spoke to Osborne about an hour or so ago after he'd won his prelim. 100. And he said, whatever happens, I came in the back door and I'll go out the front door with my head held high. Lovely quote. Well, that's true. And he's, he's always been a class act and a gentleman. I think whatever happens... He Media manager Dave Allen to tell him that the Filipino qualifier wasn't coming to the World Championship and he was the lucky loser. Needs another treble, yes. Gets to the finish. And Colin will only need one treble to leave a finish, but he'll need two to really put any kind of doubts into Dolan's head. Nineteenth, another shot. That confirms he will have an opportunity should he get a chance. Yeah, treble 17 now. Fully intending to go for it. Doesn't want to take any chances with Osborne on the rise. Well, I, I call it the part plan, the John Park plan. The fact that if you're going to go for the treble, you may as well go for the bull. And that's your theory, isn't it? On 161, 167, 164. If the second one goes in, you go for it. Well, I like to. I, I believe in getting things over with if you can. 
And uh, I also am strongly confident with 25 left, so that helps. <laughs> A double 12, and Dolan looks strongly confident there on that. Game on. I think Colin needs to get some good, solid scoring in this leg to ensure his chance, and not the first start he was looking for, obviously. Very good switch. 81. It's been some year for Brendan. Up to a career high of 13 in the world, seeded 15 here at the Ali Pali. But one of the most consistent players on the circuit in 2013. I mean, you will have come up against him and watched him at close quarters on the tour throughout the year. Well, yeah, and he's a uh, difficult man to play. Um, because along with the 41. pace, it doesn't particularly suit myself. Um, he's also hitting everything, you know. And as you get double-edged sword uh, as an opponent, that's quite difficult to face. When you're playing him, you know, Wayne Mardler was saying that he's one of those players that, you know, he's nowhere in the leg, and then all of a sudden, it's top 40, top 40 ton, and, and, and then he's out, and, he, and he's run the leg. He sort of creeps up on you in, in legs, and more often than not wins them well, I think it's actually possible psychologically no that the slow play lulls you a bit into thinking well he can't be getting down the board the scoreboard fast because he's not going fast if that makes any sense at all I don't know but certainly there is that surprise factor you're talking about I know what you mean Easy it does seemingly come from nowhere at times good last start Dolan Those 19s have helped him. He needs another, though. Yes, gets to a finish. Still far from uh, out of danger, but at least he knows he'll get an opportunity for the 147 because Dolan at 185. And he just wants to make sure he has a nice, easy shot. 60. Want it better than that. But I wouldn't want to see him go for it if I was Osborne. 125 is something we think we can hit. So, Colin summoning everything he has here for this 147. Needs treble 17. If I'm not mistaken, his prelim, I think he just missed double 16 for a 143. Yeah, he did to win the match, and then he uh, it wasn't under pressure to hit it, though. And he came back to hit it to win. But, uh, we go for bull on these shots because so often he hit the 25, and then it's just. 60 and tops. Tops it is. Oh! Now I'm surprised at that as much as Brendan is, but he did pull it a little bit. Another early pressure opportunity that Colin really has to wrangle. He got that bull finish quite nicely when he needed it, but now it needs treble 10. You get one dart if he hits the 16. And he's gone for 20 and double 18. Well, I got a double, but not the right one. So for the opening set, Brendan Dolan. Red Hot favourite to win the match. Good dart. Good dart. A good, steady, solid set for Brendan Dolan. World number 13.